Okay, so let's make some discussion about clinical feature of vitamin B12 deficiency. Basically, we are dealing with the three systems. So we are dealing with the stomach uh, and the neurological systems. Besides your blood element regarding red blood cells, white blood cells. Okay, the, how about the stomach? The stomach is usually in pernicious anemia patients. So patient with pernicious anemia has vitamin B12 deficiency. So how those patients present? Usually presented as decreased HCL, that means echlorhydra. So and if you have an increased HCLs, you will not have the negative feedback inhibition of gastrin. As a result of this, you will have an increased gastrin in the blood. So hypergastrinemia. Also, hypergastrinemia and echlorhydra, this will lead to the maldigestion. Okay. And this also will lead to the chronic, I mean, in pernicious anemia, lead to chronic atrophic gastritis. Okay. And finally, an increased risk of adenocarcinoma. Put in your mind, these are the clinical features of pernicious anemia mm, patients or people. So usually in vitamin B12 deficiency, you have the clinical features of pernicious anemia people, if pernicious anemia is the cause, right? Uh, or, uh, and, sorry, you have a problem, you have, you have neurological problems, and you have also neurological problems. So what, what the neurological problems that I'm going to talk about? Also put in your mind, you are dealing with three important neurological systems. We are dealing with spinal cord, peripheral nerves, and cerebral cortex. Okay, so these are, these are three systems. So the spinal cord, what the tracts that usually affected? Usually three tracts. Basically, three tracts affected, maybe more, but I can say this is dorsal colon. Dorsal colon get affected usually, then you have problem with the proprioception and vibration problem, vibratory problem. This will lead to what? This will lead to the frequent falls. Okay, frequent falls. How about lateral? corticospinal tract if it is affected lead to spasticity and finally uh, spinal cerebellar tract this will manifest it as ataxia okay regarding cerebral cortex will manifest it as dementia which is usually basically one of the oops sorry one of the three so dementia in elderly people, one of the two important reversible causes of reversible cause of dementia is vitamin B12 deficiency and hypothyroidism. Okay, how about the peripheral nerves? Mm. I will talk about the peripheral nerves later, but we can we can say peripheral nerves usually there is peripheral neuropathy. Okay, neuropathy. Usually there is demyelination of the peripheral nerves. Also, the pathophysiology, the pathophysiology of all of these, the pathophysiology or pathology, actually, the pathology of all of the, all of, okay, the pathology behind all of these neurological problems is demyelination. Demyelination problem. Okay, so how about, how, how did demyelination occur in case of vitamin B12 deficiency? Okay. Now, let's, let's go to uh, some biochemical point. If you will have this propionyl-CoA lead to methyl malonyl-CoA and finally succinyl-CoA. Okay, what's the problem here? I will tell you. Here you need vitamin B12 to convert methylmalonyl-CoA to succinyl-CoA. So if you will not have vitamin B12 
as an enough amount, you will need an increase methyl malonin core A. This is this is first, this is second, an increase methyl malonin core A in the blood, and will lead to a product called methyl malonic aciduria. Okay. This is usually toxic to the peripheral nerves, so this will lead to the peripheral neuropathy. This is the mechanism neuropathy. This is the mechanism of why there is why there is a problem with vitamin B12 deficiency, neurological problem with vitamin B12 deficiency, which is basically this is only with vitamin B12 deficiency, which is differentiated. You can differentiate this from folate. Okay, you can easily differentiate this from folate. So this is the peripheral neuropathy or peripheral nerve or demyelination disease in general. You have demyelination in either the cortex, cerebral cortex, spinal cord, the peripheral nerves. So basically all the pathology is the same, which is demyelination of problems. You will have demyelination as a problem in, 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 the, neuro, in the neurological. You have demyelination problems in one of, all, one of these systems. Don't forget here dorsal colon, if dorsal colon affected, there is a disease called subacute combined degeneration, okay, of spinal cord. Okay, so let's make some quick summary. You have in vitamin B12 deficiency, you have either a problem in people, usually, usually people have pernicious anemia problem, and the main dangerous feature, the main danger of pernicious anemia is an increased risk of adenocarcinoma. And how about blood problem? We will talk about this in lab test. Neurological, so three spinal cord, peripheral cerebral cortex affected. Usually the mechanism is demyelinations, and now we'll talk about spinal cord, dorsal colon. There is disease called subacute combined degeneration for spinal cord, lateral cortical spinal tract affected lead to spasticity, spinocerebellar tract affected lead to ataxia, peripheral peripheral neuropathy, and the mechanism behind the peripheral neuropathy is this. You have problem with the odd carbon, odd, odd carbon fatty acid metabolism, so propionine co a lead to methylmalonine co a This, this usually this you need a cofactor which is B12. If B12 is not available, that's mean methylmalonine co a uh, methylmalonine aciduria, and methylmalonine aciduria increase in the blood lead to peripheral neuropathy.